Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. This is Authentic Rockstar Seed, and I'm here with another creative, authentic message. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. The overall energy, Ace of Swords. The truth is, drum roll, please. You got boundaries, sisterhood of rose, keepers of earth, don't dim the fit in. Well, that's the truth, okay. Then we got grateful, optimism, tenderness, courage, soul radiance. Then you got connect with crystals, burning bowl, connect with ancestors, close in the back. The truth is, is that you're detoxing from everything, from, from, everything that is a constant irritation that's what i heard irritated whoever irritated you you're detoxing from it obviously it's time to forgive it's time to connect with your ancestors soak in the bathtub you might have already have been soaking in the bathtub connect with your crystals burning a bowl ritual look at this it's time to pardon people. It's time to write everything down that you don't like and everything that you want. Put in, put in the fire and burn it. Okay? And then leave it alone once you're done. So you've been in a grateful mood lately. This is my Queen of Cups card, too. With the tenderness, true love, and compassion. You're someone who's mature, compassionate, and empathic because you're Phoenix Rising, Soul Radiance. And then your courage, like you just bold and brave right now with strength, fierce family. Now look at this card. What I love about this card is the lion above her is symbolic for, could be passed over loved ones like your grandparents, ancestors, and things like that. Right? As I was saying. One thing, okay, me personally... Like three out of four of my grandparents all have fire in their chart, specifically Leo. And my mother and fire have Leo in their prominent chart. Okay. So I feel like with that and connect with your ancestors, they are like walking with you. Like how he's right above her while she's walking. Like I think people pick up on a, it's a, it's a certain spirit or aura that you walk with. And as obviously with your Phoenix rising, 53 significant, 2, 9, 51 significant, 7, 11, 14, 46. So really 53 breaks down to 8, 51 breaks down to 6. If you look at it, they all the numbers go in order, 6, 7, 8, 9, 46 breaks down to 10, 11, and then 14. So it's like a, a progressive thing when this is like, when you think about the major arcanas and things like that, they go up to what, 22? So I feel like it's a, it's a, you know, it's a shamanic spirit, spiritual journey. But to what though? You know, where are you at in life? You know, boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Sisterhood of Rose, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So I feel like you're with other like, Whatever you're doing with your life right now, I feel like it resonates with everybody differently, but I feel what, whatever it is that you're doing with your life right now, the Sisterhood of Rose represents other like-spirited people, people you have that in common with. So if you're an entrepreneur, it resonates at like that. Keepers of Earth, you're not alone. Ancient ancestors, like the third ancestor card that's here, don't dim the fit in. You've outgrown everything that you once knew. So all the, the dark night of the shadow type of work, all the the healing and growing you had to do once you reach when you reach that pivotal point in your life it's like i don't like where i'm at in my life i've outgrown it i'm not happy i want to evolve it's like you took the first step and then god took over with the ace of swords right there and then now i feel like you've already shedded the old person like pluto energy you know you've already alchemist that person and now you're in the the in the, you're in the reality i don't even think it's more than energy it's reality that your feet you're at the phoenix rising phase everybody can't come with you though although you're very compassionate you know true love you are your true love 
you have a lot of gratitude you see life from a joyous view and then you're very futuristic about it look at her solar plexus chakra her solar plexus is like open you know if you could see it on camera just gratitude it's very a lot of balance creative energy it's like you're cradled i feel like you're you're swaddled you're you're swaddled is that the right word swaddle like you swaddle a baby but your ancestors are really like your parents like they're swaddling you they, they're with you so this isn't really like to i feel like you are a human embodiment of your grandparents and great grandparents you just live in modern day times whoa and look what flipped over the five of wands now look at this card in the five of wands look how they in the back gossiping about her and come trying to compete where they don't compare okay that's why see your phoenix rising and they just it's just them over there okay that's 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 why and you're so compassionate and grateful you didn't even realize they was doing it you know what i mean so i don't know if somebody's bringing negative it's trying to bring that a ne negative attention back to your face but you're, you're you know you're ignoring it you're, you're soaking and hanging with people that's like spirited like you oh that's a no the eight of wands is in reverse that's a no so you could you're just not tolerating it you're not dimming to fit in and now they're talking about you i hear sierra song i forget the name of it but uh, the lyrics go you know they they laugh at you but then they turn around and do what you do and that's exactly what you're doing is a trendsetter All right, so uh, between the keepers of the earth, connect with your ancestors, and courage. So you come, you got a lot of heart. I'll tell you that. The world in reverse. Wait a minute, am I holding this deck upside down? No, the world is in reverse. The page of cups is in reverse somebody's a liar and the chariot is in reverse that's a major arcana so somebody is like trying to stump your toe spiritually they're trying to stump you from moving forward or somebody has trouble with you moving forward and they had they don't know how to they have an inability to figure their own life out without you it feels that way and those are the people that's behind your back talking or something like that what else because the garden is the world card somebody doesn't want something that's a cycle wrapped up or you know new beginning oh somebody went on the internet and tried to trash you and gossip about you it didn't work god said he, he came in and clarified that like no nah. that did whatever somebody tried to do to you didn't uh, stick your frenemies page of cups is in reverse that is a liar chariot in reverse now they these couple these these are a group of people that's really stuck on you so and i all this is being clarified by your all the ancestor cards because that's exactly what i just asked about okay that's why you have burning bowl ritual forgive them because these are people you ask god to block people out of your life and you ask god to show you your opponent and you were you were actually pretty shocked as to who all the people he exposed you know, as to who's not coming with you or who ain't worth two nickels rubbed together. And then you have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Page of Swords. That's communication. That's my research card. That's my dual diligence. That's also contracts. That's legal documents. You might need a restraining order against somebody. Somebody who's having a hard time living life without your energy. I think you got a new stalker in town. It's a new stalker in town. Hmm. That's when you, that's when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. They're not pulling you back in. Why are they not pulling you back in? Well, if you know the story about this, you'll understand why. <laughs> because Mrs. Robinson, okay you see how she's holding the obituary right here so she was the neighborhood high priestess 
right? And she got she she went to church one day and there was a, a group of people in the church that it was a it was a ringleader. You always got the ringleader that run their mouth, right? And the ringleader was like, We don't like your kind of people. We don't want you around town. She said, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm helping people. You know, she just has her own it's just just in a different context of how she helped people. So the the lady was like, get away from this town. And she would laugh at her and mock at her and have other people, her flying monkeys or just blind followers, period, following her and laughing at this lady. The lady, Miss Robinson, was the one being picked on, being bullied by the church members. And she said, you need to leave me alone. She was like, they tried to admonish her and banish her from the church like she wasn't worthy of coming to church. I wouldn't be doing that. And that's Arabic. That means I seek refuge in God from, you know, people like that naysayers like that extremists and gatekeepers like that and miss robinson said you're gonna regret it you keep mocking at me and the lady laughed at her face like she was a joke like huh, 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 huh. you know what i'm saying so she the lady's son she had one son that she wasn't the most fruitful woman in regards to children she couldn't have many children that was a miracle baby for her so this little boy got sick and he got an illness that couldn't be cured and he passed away so this is the obituary she's holding in her hand and she was standing across the street from the funeral and the lady who lost the son that was mocking at her and that was the ringleader looked up across the street and saw her standing across the street smiling at her so she said so that at that point she knew that was her karma for even bullying the lady and trying to publicly humiliate her she was trying to deter people from going to her and seeking her services was messing with her money you know what i mean just trying to turn everybody against her and that was her karma why did i bring all that up because that's the that story makes sense with where this energy of this story is going now these are the people that's naysayers because you don't them to fit in clearly your ancestors is with you so you're not alone it just looks like you're walking alone and then you got then you set boundaries with these people you connect with your crystals you like your crystals because they they rid your they rid your energy they, they they carry oxygen like trees carry oxygen they carry energy and they detox negative energy you know you're doing all the all the the positive things moving forward so you don't interrupt your blessings and, and mess up your karma Okay, and they tried to, okay, so what I'm getting from, this is the devil card in the traditional tarot, but each, in this particular deck, the major arcanas have a story about past people, all right, our, our ancestors or whatever, people that came before us, you know, that, that set the stage before us, so, I forgot what my initial question was, I'm busy talking, um, oh, oh, boundaries. That was the question. Where do you need to establish boundaries? And that, that was it. You need to establish boundaries with people who just want to put you in a box and, and classify you as something more negative and put a negative connotation. These people will enter her on a tabloid level, clearly with the devil and the five of wands there. That's very toxic, that's dramatic. Excuse me, you guys. people are in are going to start to get into or are, are paying you attention from but from a tabloid level they that negative cognotation they're not spiritually in depth with what they think of you they just want to throw negative opinions out there they just want to be naysayers and your ancestors is going to jump on their ass if they don't stop okay what is the burning bowl ritual i feel like that answers that question too Ten of Pentacles and reverse. This could be lack of support from family and friends. Now that you've moved up and moved out, because you're not them in the fit in, as I already explained. See, if you look at the card, it's a, it has family on it, so it's in reverse. So your family's not going to back you up on this one because they're scared. They're scared of you, and they're scared of your calling. That's what I'm getting from this. That's why everybody's talking about you. Everybody's talking about you right now, but you know it's publicity it's, it's not in the way it's not going to go in their favor the way they think it is they think people are going to look at you weird but what they really are is a one-dimensional mindset so that's why 
they're hit, they're stuck on you with the chariot in reverse. They're making lies. They're just talking from their own fears and insecurities. That's why I say like the page of cups is in reverse. It's like it's all lies. Like you're not making any sense. You're talking about hearsay. You're talking about this and that. You're looking at this person on the internet, or you're getting on the internet and you're trying to create a narrative and it's not working. But they are doing their research. Like it's a duality. And, the, and you doing your research and you're studying and you're learning something new and they're doing the same trying to keep up with you but what their level of understanding is not your velocity of intellect so they can only get but so far with what they're saying is very childish with two pages here and there's just the things that they have to say it's just ridiculous and you might have to get a restraining order because you got some some fatal attractions following you around now you got people that are bold faced obsessed with you with that page of cups in reverse it's childish it's manipulative it's immature it's lies it's like i need some attention pay me some attention okay and they're doing it by any means necessary but also with the devil card miss robinson was a strong influence and that's why the lady was intimidated so when you have the devil card it doesn't mean that necessarily it doesn't always mean addiction it means that you have a strong influence with the helping hand of god you're that kind of influence so can't nobody say nothing to you on the internet they damn sure not saying it to your face obviously because they're behind your back and they they know not to play with you with the backstory i just told you about this this person this character on this card all they can do is whisper behind your back because they ain't got nothing on you it says what i heard Okay. Connecting with crystals. High priestess. See, you, the high priestess in the upright, is the helping hand of God. It's somebody who's very spiritual. But to their love, to when it's, it comes to ignorance, people describe you in reverse, like the witch. You know what I mean? Hence, that's what they said about Miss Robinson. Okay, so in this story, you're Miss Robinson. You would be the Miss Robinson character, and they're trying to victimize, they're victimizing you, and they're bullying you, okay? Or cyber-stalking you, cyber-bullying, as they say. It's not cool, because these are supposed to be your family and friends, and they're not doing you right. So you are a high priestess. You're someone who's spiritual. You know a lot, but don't say much. You tell the truth, you speak when you're spoken to. Like real North Philadelphia style. You only speak when you're spoken to. And they have you pegged for something worse off than what you are. But the Ace of Swords is here. They can't crowd they can't crowd your chakra with the eyes that they're throwing at you. Or the kindergarten magic with the pages here. The kindergarten magic. Let's be for real. They play on with spirituality in a way they have no idea what they're doing. So they don't know they're opening portals for a lot of negative stuff to come back their way because you are you have that return to sender energy. You know, with the way these cards are laid out. You're a keeper of earth. Okay? Because you didn't turn back on your heels when it got hard, when it got rough. Be patient. You know, Barzini's he's taking over everything. He's not it's not gonna be nothing left. Be patient. That's the Godfather. Again, you know how I feel about the Godfather. And he's telling Clemenza and Tesla to be patient. He was like, you know, Barzini is stopping us from earning. You know, because he, because by now Barzini think he got the Corleone family beat, but he's wrong. You know, Michael is in the bathroom cooking up some shit. You know, the high priestess. They know a lot, but they're not saying nothing. They letting people talk. They letting people think they got it in the bag. You dig what I'm saying? Now you put that with the devil card. You're quite the influence, and you're meant to be quite the influence. They not, they don't see you coming at all. Knight of Wands. This is how I feel like they approach you. The nonsense is trying to approach you, real quick and fate and, and impulsive like that. Why is the Knight of Wands here? On the bottom, Ace of Cups in reverse. That's them trying to run towards you with some with a, with a couple petty words and 
petty fights on the internet, might I add, because they're not bothering you, okay? But it seems like when you get on the internet and you make your presence known, they don't say nothing. They don't have all that to say. Eight of Cups. I think they have a trouble. They having trouble seeing you leave. You know, but again, with the Knight of Wands, that's the the card of the, that's the fastest moving Knight in the deck. You know, very impulsive energy. You know, I feel like exes tried to come back at Mercury retrograde and they got turned down. That's what I feel like with the Eight of Cups. We're not walking towards anything from the past. And then you got the Ten of Six in reverse. That's right. Anybody, an old friends, old lovers, they came back from the past. It was a no go. You're not. That's a burden you dropped already. I'm off that. We're off that. They can't manipulate you with the crocodile tears. I hear you telling them you can miss me with the crocodile tears. I'm over it. That was confirmation. You perfecting your craft. You working hard behind in silence, obviously. That's a workaholic though. When you put the the eight of eight of pinnacles with the devil card and the high priestess, you're not telling nobody nothing. I wouldn't tell them nothing either. They want you to be stressed out and going crazy, and you're not. So what's your advice moving forward? Look, this was on the floor, the hermit card. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So if they're trying to take over that area, I can do something else. I can do something else. What does that say? Sweet treat. I'm over here eating clean, even if it is a dessert. That's what you're saying to somebody. You know, that's creative endeavors is connected to the womb is cr what connected to your feminine creative energy okay plan a vacation that's right don't tell nobody where you're going just get up and leave okay and keep building strength because it keeps your third eye strong if you look at the thing on her forehead that's her intuition you know just building physical strength and endurance cr increasing your cardiovascular endurance that's the heart so you're not short-winded you know, you can stand and fight. You can stand the, you can stand the good fight. Look to the stars and stand optimistic and healing, nourishing your temple, okay? That's your ancestors feeding you that good, good knowledge and that history. You've fallen back on what you were taught. And you have good gut health. You're grounded. You basically know how to chillax. And just relax, just be still while they're talking to you so you can hear them, so you can hear them, the words of the Most High. Like, read in the name of God. Read your holy books, any holy book that you resonate with. There's five of them, you know? Any one of them, just, just read what resonates with you. Be still and just listen to him talk to you through your third eye. Anything else? Last minute advice. It turns your health around. You're not in poverty. You're not in bad health. You're not blocked off. You eating clean. You eating good. You're not missing any any uh any any meals or anything like that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Cards are dropping on the floor. Give me a second. I'm not going to take them all because there's too many of them that fell on the floor, but the chariot was there that fell on the floor. I think this is obsession, needless to say. Whoever this is, person, play, this, these are obsessions. You see, these are somebody trying to create an addiction where there isn't one. You don't have an addictive personality. So you don't struggle through things like that. You don't have that OCD personality. So it's really not for you. You're not responding to people in a way where they would, that a way that would be beneficial for them. They, they don't have their footing when it comes to you. So what that means is they can study you, but they'll never graduate. 
You know, they can't copy your creation. They can't take your creation, your creative uh, account, your creative uh, abilities. They just copy and think they got one up on you. Somebody feels rejected. They're going to be devastated. You know, the, this isn't going to work. I'll be more than reasonable with you, but I want a divorce. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be nothing to you. Okay? I want to be on my own. I've been in a relationship with myself for umpteen amount of years. That's the relationship I want to perfect and build. Okay? With all my power and all my strength, that's an impossibility that you will ever have me taken out. Taken out of the game. Taken out of life. Taken off this earth. Okay? With your bad juju. Or your bad intentions. So... With the magician card here, you are magic. I don't need to practice magic. I am the prestige. I am magic. I have all the, the tools of trade in me. These are all my powers right here are in me. I don't have to practice anything extra. And y'all just gonna have to learn to get over it. Okay? I'm happy. I'm always happy. Because there's, there's judgment being called. You're calling these people out. You know, where did you go get go produce your stories if you're truthful? Like, when and where did I say I was a witch or anything like that? When and where did I say I don't worship God yeah. or anything like that? These people are kind of like a no go. They can't produce, they can't tell, you can't face the truth with a lie. It don't work. Uh, Meanwhile, you focus in on business partnerships and connections that serve you well not suit you ill moving in silence creative and a successful good mother good wife balanced planting fruits be balanced in family life and business life all too well Okay? Get out my video. Why are you whining? You're causing problems. Huh? You want to say something? Huh? Say hi. Hi. Now you don't want to say hi? Hi. They already heard you. Say hi. They heard you playing in the background for 30 minutes. Now say hi. Okay. So you, you know, as an empress, it's like you look at the, you look at, she's a leader of her own community. You know, she's a, she serves, she's a, a service, a missionary woman to others. I'm surprised the Herified is not out here. And what is this, the star? The star. That's, that's optimism. That's healing. You know everything's going to be all right. That's why you just moving in silence, you know? And this is the justice card. It just, Libra season, I never not get the justice card. But that's the energy. That's the overall energy. And the Nine of Wands, that's a good fight, you know? And the death card is over. That's all I heard is over for you Gucci clones. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these people. These doppelgangers. I never looked at this card that way. You know what I mean? They can they can copy you, but they can't steal your creativity. You are the high priestess. You are with the helping the helping you have the helping hand of God. Okay. Why are you making so much be quiet? Anything else? Last minute advice. Last minute advice. Finance. Make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses. Always be clear and specific about your finances. Master your emotions. That's on the bottom. Master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis as a successful entrepreneur.
So as an independent person, you raising your vibe. You raising your vibration and attract opportunities when you love your life and enjoy each day to the fullest. No wonder they mad. Because you're innovative. Okay, you have a whole new strategy that you're not talking about. Is your business too generic? Highlight what you can give to your clients that no one else can. Frame your offers in a completely new way. So it's like you can't throw me the you can't be mad at me for being different and then turn around and copy me. And I'll laugh at y'all because y'all all the same. Okay, so don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Replay the video. Do what you have to do. Okay, until next time.